Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, we're going to start off here with a Moonology Manifestation Oracle card. You have First Quarter Moon in Gemini, speak your world into being, and we may have talked about this. Your voice has a vibrational quality, so don't be afraid to say right out loud and say it with meaning, say it with heart, say it with gusto, because know that your feelings have a vibrational quality to them. And Louise Hay that wrote the book, You Can Heal Your Life, she started Hay House Publishing. I mean, she's quite famous in the metaphysical community. She, she wrote about an exercise called Mirror Work. And talking to yourself in the mirror. And that's something too. Again, the vibration and quality of your voice resonates. And it, it really does something to your energy field. So, amplifies it. Let's see what else you need to know. All right, general reading followed by the angel answers. You have the Ace of Cups, the Hermit, the High Priestess. So there's something about analyzing, temperance, healing, the Tower, the Emperor, Holy Major Arcana, the King of Cups, you and your own energy and death. I mean, that is a lot of Major Arcana. When we start to look at this, you have six major arcana out of eight cards. Okay, you've got a big change coming in, but I feel like they're telling you to use careful analysis, careful planning with it. You've got a transformational energy showing up here. I mean, I like, you know, I like the energy of you and your own energy with this, but I'd also say too, it, with the hermit in here, the hermit is know thyself. And when you know yourself, you know the universe. So I feel like, too, the energy of temperance brings major healing. Um, you have here a transformational shift coming in. If there's an ending, there's a new beginning. You have cards, too, about pushing against rules, pushing back a little bit. So if you're some kind of a whistleblower, you blow that whistle loud. I feel like it has some kind of a create some kind of a shift or change in your life, okay, for the positive, for the better. So um, I'm liking this quite a bit, but I will say we'll start uh, in order over here with this Ace of Cups. You've got an overflowing cup of love. So if it is something in terms of you're a, a social justice warrior, you're changing jobs, you're working in public service, you're working for reform of some sort, or even in the legal system, I feel like whatever it is, you're following your passion, you're following your vision, you're staying true to yourself. So even in career and money matters, you're not compromising. This is unwavering, but I'll tell you what, it is a card of never ending, overflowing love. It is a time in your life where your feelings inside your chest will almost feel like what it would be like inside of a helium balloon, where things are moving forward. And so... If there is some kind of whistleblowing activities, I do feel like you'll be vindicated. If you're part of a lawsuit, I feel like it'll go in your favor and it'll be this. This is the outcome, like finally, something fair actually happened. Now, in terms of actual love, you have a relationship here that there is a pull unlike no other. And so whoever this is, it's going to be an automatic chemistry. There's nothing here that says, let's run and chase and play games. Absolutely not. You have someone who's quite mature. There may be an age difference too. Okay. If it's somebody who's older than you, 10 years, maybe plus, um, I do get that too, but I feel like it works, you know? And so with this Ace of Cups, this is the kind of abundance in your life and that feeling of really the pull towards something new and exciting where you have a fervor, you have a passion, you're ignited, and especially too with this watery energy, because it has to do with your feelings. And so it's a new beginning, but it really is a gigantic leap towards that really great life. It is an emotional energy, but it is an emotional energy of such fulfillment. There's no downside to this. And so, and it's mutual too, by the way, if you do something in terms of a job change, the people receiving you will be blown away. 
they will be feeling so fortunate and blessed. Now, you have two cards that bring in analysis, the hermit with the high priestess. The hermit also may be a wizened character that you encounter, somebody in life who gives you great advice and they like to talk, they love to tell a story, they have a lot of information and with this energy of the hermit, it is a card of deep spirituality. So meditate, you have it twice because you have it with the high priestess too. And so, in fact, with the high priestess, that cube that she sits on represents your soul. And so I feel like you have a deep soulmate connection, yes, but I also feel like in terms of your actions, know thyself. Because when you know yourself, you know the universe. This is the kind of card, too, I'm telling you, your internal light shines bright. If you've gone through something, I feel like it may have been so you can help others. You can share your experience. If you're going to be a speaker somewhere about your personal experiences, I feel like it really does help other people. But with the Hermit overall, it is a card of, in some ways, groundedness. He stands on the top of a snow capped mountain because he's climbed. He's climbed out of what was challenging. He's learned what he's needed to. You're coming out on the other side with wisdom in this journey. But you have it here too now. You know the High Priestess uh, gown turns into the pool of consciousness. She is in flow. So this is the card of the psychic. You have very psychic energy. So know that when you think something, it is you know possibly precognitive. Or with this, those intuitive psychic hits are going to be right on the money. So pay attention to them. Now, she likes to work alone. She likes to analyze. She can detect a lie from the truth within seconds. But there's balance here. So she kind of sits back and watches. She doesn't need to jump right into the spotlight. She doesn't need to come crusading and marauding forward. So she holds that book of Torah, the laws of life. It indicates that you're going to have some sort of intel, that you're going to get some kind of information given to you. For those of you that have a job change, it may be something about corporate restructuring or restructuring of an organization that you catch the information out ahead of time. And so I do feel like it helps you either way. And part of it with this is that people trust you. And so there may be one person that has rather loose lips and starts telling things maybe they shouldn't be. But I do feel like overall, this is a card of knowing. It's a card of stillness in the small, still voice within. And so it's your intuitive ability to hear your own inner voice but I also feel like people around you, they see you as somebody who's trustworthy. And so with the energy of temperance here, you are in flow. Now this archangel brings in great healing. So if you're the owner of a broken heart, I feel like you have somebody coming in here that would not do anything to jeopardize this. It's somebody too who I just feel like they live an honest, integrous life. Could be a Sagittarius too that you're attracting. You have Virgo, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius here in water. So with this energy of temperance, you have support. You bring balance back into your life. And I do feel like if you've had a bit of fear about the unknown, here's where because you're going to be in the know, that I feel like you can relax a little bit where you're going to be able to, again, have some kind of information that gives you a little bit of comfort where you're not going to be worried about the future. Now, there is a blowout, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's in the cards. But with this, you kind of temper and redirect all that thinking, you know, the creating false narratives. And you may be the voice of reason for others if you work with people that like to do that. You may have just the right energy so that they don't start stirring everyone up around them. I will say, though, with an, in regard to a relationship again, I feel like you're going to have the perfect balance. You may be somewhat different in your personalities, but I feel like it works. It's like a very complementary energy. It just works like two puzzle pieces linking together. So the tower, as you know, let go or be dragged. The corporate raider shows up. But ultimately what this does is help us let go of anything that holds us back. So when the tower comes in, it's something we must release. It's something that creates anxiety. It's the overthrow of perceptions. It's an ending of delusions that introduces new awareness, new visions. 
and it allows you to let go of limitations. That tower energy, the black in the background, it's a it's contrast, it's challenging energy. And so we want to have these shakeups periodically. If something has a stronghold on you and it just doesn't seem like the needle's moving, I feel like you're gonna have some kind of a shakeup that's gonna release you entirely. And it lets you start anew because nature abhors a vacuum. So you don't just stay in this you know, floating around in this vacuous space, you have something new introduced into your world. And so I mentioned before about the whistle blowing. These three together, by the way, if there is something like that, you know, where there's information that comes out that rules weren't followed, there's an audit or something like that, I do feel like with this, you're going to leave it all behind. I don't feel like you're going to be part of the wreckage. I feel like it's going to be something that happens that with that tower energy again, that will put you in a nice position because the emperor does test rules. So if it's you that's doing it with this emperor energy, he has a vision. He's, he's authoritative in nature. He brings in a very logical approach, okay? He likes to have the rules followed because then he feels safe. It can be a little bit of a controlling energy at times. So if it's also too, I know it's not your energy per se in terms of the zodiac, but if you say no, but I, I'm tired of this. Some things haven't been done and I wanna see that they get done. The, the emperor is showing up for a reason. Ultimately though, he does bring in stability and order. And so he is a card that helps to stabilize our lives. And so with the King of Cups, you bring a little bit of heart into the matter. And I do get too with that emperor in terms of relationships that someone who likes somewhat of a traditional relationship, like they're not looking to only FaceTime with you. They're not looking to all, you know, only do, they're not trying to be a, you know, they're an AI is not their best friend. Okay. You know what I mean? This is somebody who likes relationships and they, it shows up here too, by the way, somebody who wants to canoodle, somebody who wants to talk deep into the night, who wants to be open and loving. And so again, with this death card energy, get ready. This is a symbol that good things are on the way. Life is about to get a whole lot better. And if something's been holding you back, good riddance, because when death shows up, you ride ahead. It's your higher self telling you it's time to let go of something. And so if something's been driving you nuts, I feel like this is your time to make a break. I also feel like with this, so the best is yet to come. You're moving forward in a way that is going to breathe life into your life. You've got confidence, you've got integrity, and you've got love. So let's see now what the angels want to tell you here, Pisces. All right, you have here, look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are guidance. Meditation brings answers. You also have a lightning bolt here and here, so there may be a sudden shift. Listen to your intuition, it's guiding you, as we said. You've got in the near future, and you've got choose a new direction. So there may be something about that, maybe ease up on the whistle blowing. Well, you'll have to see how that applies into your own life, but good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.